Okay, so hello there all. Both Minecraft and Left 4 Dead content have been put on hold for the time being. It, uh, it would seem that it's quite hard to get anything done these days. So what I've got here for you today is L.A. Noir. Um, it's a game I've been wanting to try out for quite some time now. And I thought, during the middle of exam period, what better, what better time to start? So, yeah, I've never played this before. Um, I've never even seen anybody else play it. Um, short of knowing it's a, a detective crime mystery adventure action RPG game set in 1940s Los Angeles. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just jump straight in and see what happens. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. Quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. I should probably point out at this point that I've made the potentially brave decision to dump, run this in black and white noir. Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective. An ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Okay, so we appear to be in. And we're, uh. In Here what is most again. definitely a Anyone classic car. Uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Where are we the going? We're going. Oh God! This is America, of course, so they drive on the wrong side of the road. I should probably remember that. Ten o nine p.m. Floyd Rose, oh, bedtime. You might back up. Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurried up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. Alright, simmer down, lads. No need to get tetchy. 
This is a fist hump. Okay, just going so through the motions. We're now in Probably properly. Right. Let's just so get it over. We can time. sprint. All right, have it your way. We can we'll search right up to do the back nothing. wall. If you still don't come uh, up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better that. than one. Oh. I can look behind me. That's probably going to be useful later on and something I almost definitely forget to do. Look at Music will fade down to indicate that all clues have been discovered. I'll probably forget that as well. Oh, switching them off will add to level of challenge. It's not my job to I have no idea what a clue indicator track. is. I, uh, I am playing this on the computer with an Xbox controller and it is vibrating at me, I'm not entirely sure why. But, uh, yeah. So we've got what looks like a lovely blood spatter on the wall. Jesus. That's uh, Cole, come take a look at this. A vibration indicates objects nearby can be examined. Let's have a look at some blood spatter then. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Okay. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. So does that? Does this serve any purpose? Or are you looking for anything in particular? Or it is just telling me to exit? So, all right. There you go. We found a clue. So open the notebook. Oh, well, this is lovely. Uh, clues. Bloodstain. Oh, this is brilliant. There you go. Found at the found where crime scene. No shit. Blood spatters in recessed doorway on alleyway floor. There you go. Can't argue with that. So I guess we just keep looking for clues. Oh. It's telling me I can inspect something, I guess, but I'm not entirely sure what it is I'm meant to be inspecting. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? I don't know, do I? Am I Phelps? Or is that chap Phelps? I don't know. Let's see if this is Phelps. I tell you I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Oh. A nearby object can be examined. Okay. What are we looking at this time? We're never gonna find it, it's a waste of time. Oh, there we go. We found a bottle. Probably not. A lens bottle? Len? Right, fantastic. Not all objects are relevant, so, uh. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> um. Okay, is there anything up here? Just me breaking some things. A big jump off that. Oh. Oh. Let's have a look. Cigarette butt. I guess so. Again, apparently not relevant. <laughs> Fantastic. And is that another bottle of the same sort? I doubt it. No, but I'm being told it's useless, so uh, I guess we're done there. Climb a drain pipe. Yeah, sure, why not? That seems like something a regular cop would do. Okay. That looks like it could be a clue. Just going out on a limb here. Smith Ooh. and Wesson, serial S seven one eight nine three. Okay. Two so. rounds fired. Instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. That is pretty interesting. 
There you go, as you can see, those two on the left apparently are empty shells. News to me, but I suppose I'm not particularly a gun person. I guess us Brits in general aren't. But yeah, so that's a uh, Smith & Western S something or other. So are we, are we taking Follow that? Follow up on this now, before the burp tries to leave town. Uh, how do we get back down? Via our trusty drain pipe again? We have the gun, yes. Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Okay, so setting destinations in locations ah, to the gun store and set as destination. There we go. Are you sure about this? It's okay, so really as we can see, team. it's no harm in doing some somewhere digging. in that direction. The didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a so hopefully we'll get our car back. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? Uh, I suppose as well as round up drunks and help apologizing the for the. I'd rather get through the Brave, but hopefully put up my ass. fun, <laughs> entertaining decision to play this in black and white noir. Uh, I do also apologise for what is inevitably going to be a vast amount of cutscenes. I very much get the impression that this is a very story-driven game and probably quite dialogue heavy. I'll try not to inter uh, interrupt it as much as possible. But... Uh, yeah, so, apologies for that. There we go, alright, so he's got in, I guess is the right side of the car. And we're off this way. Oh god, once again, forgetting which way's which. Oh sweet, we have a siren. Okay, yep, yeah, we can drive on the wrong side of the road now. That's uh, what sirens do. I don't know if you knew that, but they literally let you do whatever the fuck you want. So yeah, we're going to just crash into things, because we have a siren. And I don't really know where we're going. Short of generically this way. Oh god. Oh god. There you go, this siren at least lets me drive on the right side of the road. Oh god. Oh, sorry, siren. Okay, this uh, local corner shop appears to be somewhat less local than I'd have liked. Oh, is that it? There we go. Central gun store. Ten twenty-six p.m. So this took us seventeen minutes. That's Fairly speedy, I suppose. Gold handled doors allow you to enter. Right, that's all well and good when I'm in bloody black and white. Um, there we go. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum, chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. Special order, my Mind ass. I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Okay, so we have a order. Alright, press 8 to open the ledger. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Model 27 with pearl grips. Uh, in a word, no. Ah. Errol Schroeder. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. What year are Thanks we in now? Big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. 
Oh, well, we're in at least 1946. There you go, boys and girls. So... Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Okay, so I guess we're now off to this chappy's place. Errol. Yep. Right. And off to Errol's we go.